I actually had tears in my eyes. It was, um, yeah, really heartwarming, very funny, amazing acting. And I didn't really know what to expect because I hadn't seen the film. Um, I knew what the subject matter was about, but I, I was very, yeah, really impressed. It was amazing. Does it remind you of your own experiences of falling in love? I think definitely it had that universal appeal, like falling in love, no matter whether it's a, a man or a, a woman, you, you're going to feel the same emotions and, and from my experience, yeah, I think it all feelings are the same. And I did a programme called Sugar Rush, which I was playing a girl coming out and coming to terms with sexuality, so it kind of made me think about that as well. It was like, um... As an actress, how did you cope with that? How did you kind of portray all that? I kind of just read the script and instead of thinking, oh my goodness, she's gay, she's gay, you've got to act differently, I thought, no, you, if you're in love, you're in love. You just act on your feelings and and it's no different really. So I think this is what this play showed, it's no different. It's just the stigma that's attached to it. And I guess it's where we are now with gay rights that it's actually, it is, as you say, it's just about love and it doesn't matter whether it's between two men or a woman and a man. It's, and it's great that we've reached that point, thankfully, in 2013. At the moment I'm filming a comedy called Chickens, um, which is set during the First World War. And it's, it's called Chickens because it's about um, a group of guys who are the guys from the in-betweeners, two of them, um, who are the only people not fighting in the war because they're chickens. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm one of the women in the village and my um, husband's died. Uh, so it's quite tragic. It's a, a drama, not a comedy. It's a tragic comedy. It's very funny. Yeah, I think, I think you're going to have to wait. And I cannot imagine this. <laughs> it, when will it be on? I think it's on in like September time. Sounds really, really exciting. I will definitely have that. So chickens. Chickens. Sky one. How do you cope with that, not knowing what's coming next? What's your mantra? Oh my goodness. I was just talking to Zara, who's in the cast of Beautiful Thing. She's saying, oh my goodness, you never know when you're going to work again. And it's, it's stressful and it's hard, but it's also exciting. And I think not knowing is kind of, yeah, it's, it's fun. And I'm, I'm sure you've just got to accept that what will be will be and the right role will come up, so. Can you be a bit of a drama queen with your agent or are you quite chilled? I'm rubbish with my agent. I just kind of wait for the phone to ring. In fact, I should be more proactive and ring up and say, where's my role? Why am I not doing this? Why but I don't do that at all. Um, but I, I kind of have the confidence in knowing that the right project will work out, hopefully. Absolutely. How are you going to kind of spread the word of this play? Are you really kind of moved by it and want to, do you want to tell people? I'm going to tweet about this play. I'm not very good on Twitter, but I will tweet about it. And um, yeah, I'm going to tell everyone. I think it's going to really, really be a big hit. I have a funny feeling it will be back in the West End. It's, I'm sure. The standing ovation you got at the end of the night said it all. It, it was brilliant. And I haven't seen a play in a while where I've just actually genuinely, from start to finish, been completely with it. There's always the awkward moment at the end of a play when you think, are we, are we, or shall we not, or shall we stand up or should we sit down? And with that, there was an absolute, almost moving sensation. We all rose on our feet. A resounding wow. And the acting was amazing. And I think the subject matter as well. I think there, there isn't much out there that touches upon, upon, you know, young people coming out and being accepted for being gay, which in 2013, it's like, come on. Come on now, catch up. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, thank you for talking to us. Good luck with chickens. I'll keep my eye out. Yeah, pleasure.